this five tips to running a successful business number one when things are not going the way you want you have to be able to pivot most people will stay in the same position in, in a business not realizing that it's time to pivot pivot meaning move on to a different game plan or a different strategy in order to win number two Stop trying to bring friends and family into business who don't make sense. See, the problem is you're going to complain about friends and family who you knew from day one weren't good business people or good business partners. Don't bring Tasha or Mike when you know they're bad with money and then expect them to be good with money. That is a bad strategy for business. Number three. Hold your business to a higher standard. Don't look at the low-end people and say, oh, my business is doing better than them. No, look at the high-end people and say, if your business is doing better than them, then I'm talking about as far as uh, consistency, I'm far, as far as professionalism. Those are the requirements in order for you to have a successful business. Number four, always respect people's time. People say CP time, that means color people time. So many people be on color people time in business and they think, oh, oh, you know what, it's expected of us because no, don't do that. If you wanna be in business, understand that you have to be effective and efficient and always on time. That is a requirement to be in a professional. Number five, have high standards. Meaning, when a person is spending their money, be conscious of the fact that there are multiple businesses in this world, but they choose yours. Notice that. Most people take for granted that people come all the way to your business to support, but yet and still not realize that they can go to multiple places. So hold yourself to a high standard just as if you're spending your money. Hmm. Don't let that go over your head.